Hey everybody. Today we have a strength and cardio interval duty training workout. We'll do a warm up and then we'll mix up some strength exercises with some cardio exercises. For this class, you may want to have a mat, uh, dumbbells if you have them, or a band, or something you can hold on to. Cans, water bottles, anything like that around the house you can have to. So we're going to get warmed up first. Go ahead and start jogging or marching in place. Just kind of get that blood flowing and moving. If you're marching, you can lift those knees up high. Or you're taking it to a jog. Take some deep breaths in and out. And then go to either some butt kicks where you're pulling your heel up towards your glutes or you're going to some hamstring curls. If you're doing hamstring curls, just kind of do it quick. You can even sit down a little bit into that to work your legs a little bit more. Or you're doing optional butt kicks. And take it to some jumping jacks, out and in. And with soft knees, you can also tap out to the side for a modified option. You can even go out to the side if you don't want to go overhead. Give me four more, four, three, two, and one. Step touch side to side for me. Squat down just a little bit. You're gonna tap your feet behind you, and then reach down with that opposite arm. You can stay right here at a hop side to side, going into skater hops. Keep that back straight as you hinge forward. Eight more, four more, four, three, two, and one. Good, back to marching. As you march, give me some arm circles, backwards, opening up through that chest, and now circle those arms forward. Get some movement through that spine, so the shoulder blades pull up and down. So we're going to do some punches, jabs. You're going to punch to the front. Keep your core engaged. This is a jab. You'll see some of these later in the class. Just keep going. Don't lock out your elbow. If you're punching, work in your back. Good. Give me four more. Four, three, two. And one, alternating front kicks. You're gonna kick with the ball of your foot, your core is pulled in, and you're kicking straight out to the front. Your guard arms are up. You can also make the kick lower, or if you feel real warm, get those kicks up high. Four, three, Two and one. Back to marching or jogging. You're marching or you're jogging. Now you're going to march. Go up four and back four. So you're going to take it forward and then take it back. Just depending on what space you might have in your room, you can also turn sideways. If you have more space that direction. Or you can be marching up four and back four. Just keep moving. A couple more. Last time, up and back. Up and back. Now give me some squats down and up. Your feet are shoulder width apart. Keep that core engaged. You're hinging from your hips. Four, three, two more, two, hold this one down. You're holding, your back's nice and flat. Half pulses up, pulse, pulse. Four more pulses, four, three, two, stay down low. You're gonna tap out, bring it in. Tap out, bring it in. Squeezing your glutes as you extend back. Four more, four, three, Two 
And one, other side. Diagonal step back. Four more. Four. Three. And one, stand up. Balance, warm up your core. Vertical knee lift. You're holding. Belly button pulls in. Your foot can also hover, or you can tap down if you need to. Four, three, two, switch to the other side. Other foot up. Holding, belly button pulled in. Or foot is lower. One more. Four, three, two, and one. A little bit of that quarter squat again. Tease. So we're squeezing our shoulder blades together. Our shoulders are down away from our ears. And we have length through our cervical spine. Relax your shoulders. Four, three. You can stay right here or take it to wide. You're going up and down, keeping your shoulders down. If that's too much, then just go to W's. You're squeezing, or you're doing Y's. Arms out to the side. Four, three, two, and one. Good, torso twist. Cross those arms, you're gonna twist to the side, back to center, other side. Twist to the side, back to center. Try to keep your hips stationary. So the rotation is coming from the rib cage. Warming up your thoracic spine. One more time each side. And last time. So wide and mass stands, wide squats, down and up, sumo squats. Your knees are tracking towards those toes. Down and up. Hinge your hips forward and drive your hips up. Four. Three, two, and one. Toes pointed to the front. You'll see lateral raises here in a sec. Lateral step outs in a second. So you're gonna lunge to the side into that lateral lunge. Stay on that same side. We'll do eight on each side. Making sure you're pressing your hip back, just like you're sitting in a chair, keeping your back nice and straight. Two more on this side. Last one, going over to the other side. Same thing, bending the other knee. Opposite leg stays extended down. Your whole foot is pressing into the floor, but a little bit more pushing through the heel. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Should feel good and warm right now. Have water next to you if you just need it for anything. And on these ones, we're gonna start with 20 squats. And then right after that, we've got 10 jacks and 10 high knees. We're gonna be doing that for 30 seconds. But we're gonna be starting with the squats first. We got 20 squats followed by 30 seconds of cardio. Take it down and up, down and up. If you have a weight, you can hold on to that weight in the front, just like a goblet squat, keep going, down and up. Or you can just use your body weight this morning. Or this evening, if you're doing this workout after work, after sitting down for a long time, it's a good time to get up and move as well. Down and up. Five, four, three, two more, two, and one. We're going right into 30 seconds of jacks and high knees. So you know you have those modifications for those jacks, or you got these jacks. Four, three, two, take it to high knees. High knees pulled up high. Or you're doing modified high knees where you're pulling up. But drive those knees up high. 10 and 10. 10 jacks, 10 high knees. You can go on your own timing too. We're just going for 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to those squats. We're doing two rounds and then you'll take a break. Back to those squats, down and up. Option to hold that weight, or just keep doing those body squats. Give me eight more squats. Eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, and one. Nice job, going right into those jumping jacks and high knees. 10 jacks, 
bend my knees where you're modifying tapping it out to the side. And then you're going right into those, right into those high knee jogs or high knee marches. You got 10 more seconds, keep going. Last few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, 30 second rest. Grab a drink of water if you need it. We got push-ups and skater hops coming up. With the push-ups, option to do them on the wall or off of your couch or dining room table, going up and down or on the floor. I'll be on the floor for the first set and the second set I'll show modified. So we're going 20, 20 push-ups. You're on the floor. You can go on your toes or down on your knees. Here we go. Inhaling as you go down. Exhaling as you go up. Keeping those shoulder blades engaged. Keep going. Six, five, four, three, two more. Two, and one. Good, skater hops, 30 seconds. And go. You can just tap back behind you. You can stand up tall, but whatever speed you want. Or to work your legs a little bit more, squat down into it. You can also take that to an agility hop side to side. You got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Second set. Wall on the counter or down on the floor. We're doing 20. Here we go. Keep the core pulled in, down and up. Even if you're using modified, you can still do, still really work that core at the same time by keeping that back nice and flat. Whether you're doing an awesome thing or off a wall, eight, seven, six, keep pushing. Four more, four, three, two, that's it, last one. Good, nice job, shake it out. Got skater hops. Ready and go. Tap behind. Or again, get lower. Or add that hop side to side. 30 seconds. You can do anything for 30 seconds. Keep it going. The last 10 seconds, almost there. Last time doing this one. Five, four, three, two. And one, good, 30 seconds rest. Grab a drink if you need it. Next up, we got lateral lunges. We did these in our warm up with our feet out to the side, going up and down. You can either do 10 on one side and 10 on the other or alternate. You can also, if you're used to these, you can step out and in, 10 on each side. If you're not used to doing these though, I recommend feet are real or wide, wider than shoulder width apart, and you just, do that hip hinge where you're sitting back. Ready? I'll demo the modified option first and then the other one in the second round. Here we go. Either alternating or 10 on each side. Make sure you're pushing your hip back. You're overloading that hip and glute on each side. You're still hinging from the hip, just like a squat. Give me eight more. Seven, six, five, last four, and then we got mountain climbers coming up. So you can do mountain climbers on the floor where you're jumping and switching your feet. We're doing this for 30 seconds. They can be done on a wall. They can also be done on a couch. I'll be definitely modified and then you can pour around the second time. 30 seconds. And go, you can even do it off of a chair. You're driving those knees up. Pull the rib cage down towards your pelvis and draw the shoulder blades down. You got this. Keep going. Last 10 seconds. 
Give me five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Taking it to those lateral lunges. Remember, you have the option of keeping your feet stationary or adding movement. I'm gonna move this time. 20 on each side. Ready and go. You're still keeping that core engaged. Those shoulder blades back. You're hinging from the hips. Riding your hips back as you go down and up. Give me 10 more. Keep going. Last four. And then back to those mountain climbers. Two more. Last one. Nice, taking it to those mountain climbers. 30 seconds, option on the wall, chair, or floor, whichever you got. 30 seconds, and go. Drive those knees in. Pull the shoulder blades down. Give me 15 more seconds. Keep going. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, and relax. 30 seconds, catch your breath. Grab a drink of water if you need it. We're going to rows and front kicks coming up. If you have a band or some weights on this one, add some resistance to this one. I'm gonna do the first set with bands. If you have dumbbells, you are hinging a little bit forward and you're pulling and squeezing. You can stand in a split stance position for a little bit more support on your back. Or you always have an option of one hand like this on the first set and then switching it to the other side. I'm gonna start with rows first with the bands. If you have bands, stand in on the band. You're pulling and squeezing. That's not enough weight. Hold down further on the band. Pull and squeeze. We got 20 of them. You're pulling right towards the outside of that rib cage. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Keep the shoulders down, away from those ears. I want you to feel your shoulder blades draw back. Four, three, two, and one. Going to front kicks right away. 30 seconds. Kicking with the ball of your foot. Kicking straight out. Core is engaged. Make those kicks lower or higher if you need to. Guard arms are up. Alternating those front kicks. Nice deep breaths in and out. Good. Chamber that knee and kick with the ball of that foot. 10 seconds. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one second round with those rows. Grab either that band or if you have those dumbbells. I'm gonna be doing some dumbbells this time. Feet are hip width apart, soft knees, hinge from the hips. Pulling and squeezing. Remember you have that option of going to a wall or a table and just do one arm if you need back support. Now let's go to that split stance. Pull and squeeze. Think about the alignment through your neck as well. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Back to those front kicks. Last time, 30 seconds and you get your rest. And go. Navel drawn in towards that spine. You're bending the knee, kicking with the ball of your foot. You also have an option of adding a squat in between this. It's kick, squat, kick. Or just kick with the regular front kicks. Keep going, 10 seconds. Then you get your rest. Five seconds. Good, one more kick. Yes, that's it, 30 seconds. Grab a drink of water if you need it. We're gonna work on some shoulders. So if you have some dumbbells or cans of soup, or water bottles, we're gonna be alternating a front and side breaks. 
You can also just do that with your hands as well. We're gonna do 10 in each direction. Roll those shoulders up and back, so you're kind of packing your shoulders down and away from your ears. Core is engaged, knees are soft. Lift up and then out to the side. Lift forward and out to the side. So we're just alternating these. Another grip, two is having thumbs up in each direction. A little bit less pressure on the shoulder, keeping the shoulder in a little bit more external rotation. Good, and relax. Place those down. In the warm up, we jog forward and back or march forward and back, so that's what you're gonna do right now. 30 seconds, jogging forward and back. Ready, and go. Taking it forward and back. Either with jogging or with marching. Just doing a quick, kind of a quick walk up and back. Going at your own pace. You feel like I need to get my heart rate down. Have it be a little bit more of an active recovery. Where you're still moving, but your heart rate may not be going as high. Five seconds, or you keep after it. And stop. We got the side raises, front raises again. Remember either option with thumbs up, going in both direction, palms face down. As you're drawing them up, keep the shoulder blades drawn back just a little bit. You're standing up nice and tall. Ears are right over the shoulders. Good. Give me four more in each direction. Four, three, two. Alternate it if you need to. Last one. Or drop those weights. Yes, good. We got that walker jog forward and back. 30 seconds. And go. You're taking it forward and back. Whatever space you got. Just keep moving, or take it to a march. Take the impact down. Whatever you got in you, just keep moving. You got 10 more seconds. You are almost there, you got one more round left. Three, two, and one, nice job. We're gonna take this down to the floor. Take your 30 second rest. Get your heart rate going down a little bit. You feel like you need to move around a little bit more, just push pause, and then take it down onto the floor um, with us. Coming up is bridges with tricep presses. If you don't have any weight, again, you can use that soup can or that bottle of water, or grab one or two dumbbells. If your dumbbells are light, you might need two dumbbells. We're gonna be doing bridges, the tricep press and planks on this one. So getting a little bit into our core. So for those bridges, and if you've got two dumbbells, you'll be holding one in each hand. If you have one, you'll be holding here, or that can of super bottle of water. Have your knees bent to you flat on the floor. You're gonna bring those weights, drop them down by your ears, keeping your elbows slightly in front of your shoulders, or stack directly over. You're gonna press up, squeezing your core, pressing a little bit through those heels, and then you're just bringing those dumbbells right down by the ears, or if you just have one, bring it right behind your head. Give me eight more of these. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two more. And last one. Good, and relax it. If you got weights, put them down. We're going right into planks. On the first one, we're gonna do a regular plank. If you need to bring that onto a chair, or even a wall, you can do that as well. Pull that rib cage down towards your pelvis. Draw the shoulder blades down and away from your neck and your ears or you can go onto the floor. Modify is on your knees, or option to go up on your toes. We're holding this for 30 seconds. Ready, and go. 30 seconds. Keep breathing, whatever option. If you're on your toes on the floor, 
and you need to drop down to your knees at any time. Drop down onto your knees. Whatever your best is for today. You got this, 15 more seconds. Imagine kind of drawing those elbows back towards the toes. Engaging that core. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and stop. Coming back to those bridges and tricep presses. With or without the weight. If you don't have any weights, just do the bridges. Starting with the elbows bent, pressing through those heels, lifting the hips up as high as you can, light tap as you come down, exhale as you press up, inhale to release it. Last eight, you're almost there, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and relax. We got side planks. We're gonna do 20 seconds on each side. If you're on the floor, elbows right underneath that shoulder, your knees can be bent as you press through the knees, lifting the hips up into the air. Make sure the shoulders are stacked, that you're not rounding forward, that the top rib is rotated up. That top leg can go here, or that bottom leg can go behind that top leg. Your feet can also be stacked. Remember, you have this option of doing this on the wall or off the chair as well. It's the same thing. You're gonna be standing a little bit away from the wall. Those feet can be stacked or they can be in this position, but you're drawing the rib cage down, drawing the shoulder blade down and holding. 20 seconds on each side. Whatever option you're feeling today, ready and go. We're lifting up and holding. Shoulders are stacked, so kind of pull that top rib cage up. Hand can be here or extended up. Whatever feels best for you today. We're holding, navel drawn in towards the spine. Think length from the spine and the neck. We got three, two, one, good release. Take it over to the other side. You can either bend up, stack that foot, or feet are stacked. Elbow right under that shoulder. Lift it up, rotate that rib cage up, or hold in that position. Hand can also be on that hip. You can even be lightly down here if you can reach without rotating forward. We're pulling and holding. Good, 10 more seconds. You're almost there. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. And release it. Nice job, everybody. Good work. We're going to slow down to a little bit of a cool down. If you need to get your heart rate down, just take a couple nice deep breaths in and out. And then we're going to come down onto our back, pulling our knees into our chest, into double knee stretch. Just taking time to restore your body, restore your breath, slowing that breathing down. Nice deep breath in and out. If you want to rock side to side, you can if that feels better. Going into spinal twist, legs down by your side, arms out to side at shoulder level. Drop your gaze over to your right side. Either look up towards the ceiling or turning gaze, looking down that opposite arm, down that left arm. Filling that length through the spine. Nice deep inhales and exhales. Bring it back to the center, rotate it over to the other side. Option to turn and look in the opposite direction. Bring it back to the center, piriformer stretch. Crush your right ankle onto your left knee. Option to bring that left knee up to deepen that stretch. Hand could be on the ankle or back behind the thigh. Relax the shoulders, relax the neck. Deep inhale and exhale. And switch to the other side. Left ankle onto the knee, bringing that knee up. Relax the shoulders. And gently release. Roll onto your side, push yourself up. Bring the legs straight out in front, hamstring stretch. Nice deep inhale. Hinging from the hips, throw down towards the shins, ankles, or toes. Have your toes facing the ceiling. Going length from the hamstrings. 
As we draw our hips back and lean forward. Draw the soles of your feet together into butterfly stretch. You can either hold at your feet or at your ankles. Sitting up nice and tall, length through the spine. Ears stacked over shoulders, shoulders stacked over hips. Opening the hips. As we come up, we're going to come up slowly, heads lasting to come up. Kind of round up slowly. Support the spine if you need on the thighs as you come up. Rolling those shoulders up and back. We're going to reach for, for our ankles, stretching our quadriceps. If you need to hold on to a wall, hold on to a wall, or you can use this as a balance exercise too. We're grabbing onto the outside of the ankle. The knee is drawing down towards the floor as much as you can. Or working towards that. And we release the other side, grabbing onto the other ankle. Again, hold on to anything that you might need to, or find a focus point you can stare at. One side might feel different than the other. And gently release. Step one foot back, bend the front knee, you're pressing through that back heel calf stretch. Think about length from the spine all the way from your hips to the base of your skull. Draw it up where your hips are up underneath your shoulders. Rotate the pelvis to the front and slightly bend that back knee, opening up through your psoas in front of your hip. You can add an arm reach as you extend up, lengthening the side of the body. Set that back foot to the front and switch. Push that heel down. Same stretch as the other side. Bringing the torso up, rotating the pelvis forward, draw, soften that back knee. Option to bring up that same arm as you reach it towards the ceiling. And gently release. Opening through the chest, clasping onto the hands or interlacing the fingers. We're opening through the front of the chest. Or we can just open here. Relax those arms. Reaching over to the side, lateral side stretch. Keep your shoulders stacked and that top rib open. Gently release the other side. Good, roll those shoulders up one more time. Deep breath in. And exhale back out. Nice work today, everybody.